Hello everyone. This is David at Grow and Eat This. Oh, there's two butternuts. It's August 5th. Thursday. Getting close to 90 degrees. Uh, it's miserable. But I've got to get some peppers picked. Because we've been getting some cool nights. Very unusual for us. The peppers have been like beyond happy. So, as you can see, we have got the peppers. So, then we're going to come up here. And we have got more peppers. Just peppers and peppers and peppers. We've got some, oh, look at it. Check out the size of that pepper. What a beautiful bell pepper. And up here, we have some more peppers and more peppers and more peppers and more peppers. So let's get started picking. And I like to get a bazillion peppers chopped up and in the freezer to last us through the winter. Yeah. And we start these. Look at this. I hope that's showing up on the camera. So, so many peppers. So. There's little orange lunchbox style peppers that are so incredibly sweet. Great thing is, they have very few seeds, so there's almost no waste on these guys. And they are just exceptional. Now we're going to move up here to some red ones. So these small little super sweet lunchbox type peppers. We really like them. The ones you buy in the little bags in the grocery store, you can get them all winter. We really like them. They're expensive because they're so small. So I decided this year I was going to grow some. And they're doing pretty well. Look at all of them. You want to cut them, not snap or pull them because the stems are very brittle. Well, there's a lot more almost ready, but we'll let them wait. Let's move up to the next plant. Another one of these orange ones. What a beautiful, beautiful pepper.
These may be an orange bell pepper in here. Up to the next one. Now, I'm going to take us in here to where this monster is. Look at this monster. That one evidently got away from us because the rest of these have been picked pretty loosely. So we'll just continue on up. Check it out. Two more beauties. Leave the rest of those to grow up for another day. There's what we've got so far. Off to a great start. We'll move over to another patch where there's some more peppers. Uh, kind of have to dig in amongst the weeds. those two off and as you can see three or four more right there beside it coming we have just had days and days and days of rain or drizzle and the mosquitoes have just eaten me alive so I've picked these quickly and I'll show you when we get inside what all we have impressive picking but I just could not go slow with the mosquitoes just inhaling me. The, uh, eggplant are doing remarkably well, but they like the heat. It's a matter since they're in pots of keeping up with the watering. The blackberries are trying to see if they can take over. And I think they're going to. I planted the cucumbers really late. And they're doing pretty good. Uh, Boris haven't found them yet. There's one. A variety homemade pickle. Been a good variety for us for several years. So... That's the variety I grow. This is another row of another, well, another half dozen bell peppers. These are some of the first tomatoes I put in, and as you can see, they're about finished. They are just about finished. I gotta tell you, you take all you take a whole pile of these little little cherry tomatoes put them in a pan out on the grill with some salt and olive oil and kind of half roast them pack them in jars top them off with olive oil you would not believe how good they are now this is my late plantings these are my uh, paste tomatoes romas I always put them in real late because I don't really want to start processing them until late in the year and as you can see down there we got some ripe ones coming along. Ripe ones up there. They're doing pretty well. There's those late season peppers. 
Now I got a real surprise I didn't know about till Chris came in with a whole bowl full yesterday. Let's go see if we can see them. They're called ever-bearing raspberries. You get that big flush in the spring. Let me tell you something. She had to have picked a pint yesterday and the day before. Ooh. So, check that out. And uh, you know what's going to happen to these. They're never going to make it inside. Oh. You can't be a lifeguard. This whole little lifeguard, wow, look at the move. And over there, whoa, there's a lot of raspberries out here. Hmm, I gotta get out here and get this patch cleaned up. Get the old canes out, dug out. Like this, get the old canes out. Make room for the new canes. Raspberries are quite a treat, and this time of year they're an amazing treat. I'm going to walk out of here. We did uh, candy roasters. The winter squash. Never grew it before. Saw a video. Looked like it was pretty cool. And uh, to give you an idea, <laughs> this, this thing is gigantic. Four more up in there. And the uh, ground cover sweet potatoes are definitely covering the ground. So, the things that like the heat are growing spectacularly. The things that don't are saying sayonara till next year. So this is David at Grow and Eat This. Getting eaten alive by the bugs. But we are still harvesting incredible amounts of food. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. It's Zone 7 Lawrenceville, Georgia. August 5th, David had grown eat this. Here's what just got picked. And to give you some size, these are some whoppers. Now, this variety, which we really, really like, is Better Bell. It's the variety. You get them at seeds and such. And what's really nice is the seed cavity is all right up here in the top. And it's not attached to the sides of the pepper. So it's very, very easy to cut all the seeds out and not lose a lot of pepper. Then, of course, there's all these little guys. Oh, these are the ones you get in the bag. Don't you love these little guys? Mmm. A couple of cucumbers snuck in. Then these little red ones. Those are the other kind you get in little bags. Got this from a veteran that's got a little business down in Florida. Clearwater, someplace down there in Florida. These uh, Better Bell seeds come from um, South Carolina. I'm in Lawrenceville, Georgia, so I try and go as local as I can. And this is what you can grow. I just, I'm just beside myself. August 5th. Uh, I know people like to weigh them. Weighing doesn't make much sense to me because I don't eat them by the ounce. Uh, I'm going to cut them up, put them, freeze them in the quart bags. Because we kind of portion them out of a cord bag, so how many bags we get is important. We've had some years with as high as 80 bags of cord bags in the freezer and ran out because I really like peppers. So, here's what all the picking I'm about to show you and all the sweating and the mosquito bites. This is what it gave us.